Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as Solreamphetol. Its brand name is Sinosi. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. And quickly, if at any time during this video you find this information to be valuable, please consider leaving a like on the video as it would really help me with the YouTube algorithm. So first, what will we cover in this presentation? We'll start by talking about how Solreamphetol works, we'll then discuss indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe Solreamphetol. We'll then discuss examples of dosing, and then stick around to the end where we'll talk about side effects with percentages. So how does Sinosi work? Well, the exact mechanism of action is not completely understood, but it may be due to the inhibition of dopamine and norepinephrine reuptake. In terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, we may see it used in excessive somnolence associated with narcolepsy. As well, we may see it used in excessive somnolence associated with obstructive sleep apnea. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe Sinosi, we wouldn't give it to patients who have a hypersensitivity to Solreamphetol or to any other component of the formulation. And we also wouldn't use this medication within 14 days of a monoamine oxidase inhibitor. Now what about dosing with Solreamphetol? Now, in somnolence associated with narcolepsy, the initial dose would be 75 mg orally once daily upon awakening. The dose may be increased in three-day intervals, and the maximum dose would be 150 mg per day. We would want to avoid using this medication within nine hours of bedtime. To treat somnolence associated with obstructive sleep apnea, the initial dose would be a little bit lower here, at 37.5 at mg once daily, again upon awakening and the maximum dose would be the same, 150 milligrams per day. Now as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using Sinosi, so I'll go over some of those here now. A decrease in appetite may occur six to 9% of the time, while seven to 8% may experience nausea and vomiting. Some patients may experience a headache, and 5% may experience insomnia. Patients may also experience anxiety while using this medication. Now some more rare but serious side effects would be an increased heart rate, or psychiatric symptoms. That's all we're going to talk about today with Solreamphetol or Sinosi. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. Good for today. Take care.